two plus years at BNY Mellon, plus the years that I spent in Russia and New Zealand, uh, beginning to play around in those days with this stuff now that we call intelligent automation. There are some lessons that we've now galvanized in about why are we not seeing the promise? You know, Bart showed us some fantastic new things to come. I'm a practical person. Um, I have to deal with operations people, finance managers, HR people who have budgets to hit. Now, it's great that we're going to have the promise of AI and all these great things that we're going to be able to plug in. And believe me, I am a huge advocate of all these things. So when the robotics effort came out, they said, Tarkov, we want you to be the mentor. And I went, awesome. And I said, great, three conditions. One, you give me permission to fail. Two, you let me blow stuff up. And three, you give me permission to fail. My COO boss went, okay. And the only condition he had is, please don't blow anything up in production. For me, and for what we've seen with the help of our clients, the environments that we've touched on really have spawned, a, at least the way that I've seen the world so far, of a little bit different way of looking at how we're going about in deployment and implementation and integration within these big institutions. Nothing around this ecosystem works without re-engineering, a client view, and this whole thing being looped together in what we call the smart tech ecosystem or intelligent automation. Everything we do has to be connected together. If we ever lose sight of the client, why we're doing this, if we ever lose sight that you're not going to solve all your problems with an RPA tool, you have to build an ecosystem. There's a lot that we're doing. We started operations, but we have projects both in our finance department, uh, in our Persian broker dealer group, and it's expanding into other areas across the bank. But we are owned by operations. We have a strong collaborative model, as Bart showed you that model between how it works, where we own everything as far as the vision, how we do it, we run it. Technology gives us all the infrastructure and the guidance to make sure that we do it the right way. And that's the way we run it. We are seeing so many companies jump, thinking, I'll solve my problems. I'm going to start using big ML engines or huge cognitive machines to try to solve operational issues or big strategic issues. I'm all for that. As long as you don't say, I'm trying to use that to meet an operational deliverable for this year or even next year. These engines dealing with the amount of unstructured data they have take way too long. What I think we should be doing and encouraging companies to do is play, experiment, set up like a pharmaceutical company, give them a budget, let them go out innovation centers, partner up with people and let them blow stuff up. Have some fun with it. That's the only way big corporations, especially in bank financial institutions and, and insurance companies, are ever going to get out of their old way of thinking.